Hey friends, thanks so much for watching. Welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Today I'm bringing you two and a half hours of cleaning motivation. This is the first cleaning marathon video that I have ever done and I am so excited. So grab that to-do list and let's tackle our messes together. Be sure to hit the like button if you enjoy this video. And if you are new to my channel, please be sure to subscribe before you go and leave me a comment down below as to what you are tackling today. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. Hi friends, thanks for watching. Today's video is a kitchen clean and organized with me. I am deep cleaning and rearranging some of the messiest cabinets in my kitchen. I am also so excited because this video is a collaboration with my friend Brittany. Her channel is Brittany Serrato here on YouTube. She is a mom of two adorable girls and makes really fun videos, lots of cooking and cleaning motivation. I know y'all will love her. I will have her channel linked in my description box so you can go check her out when you are done watching my video. And if you are here from Brittany's channel, Hi, and thanks for stopping by. I hope this video gives you tons of cleaning motivation and I hope you'll consider subscribing before you go. Let's get cleaning. I'm starting out cleaning today by loading the dishwasher with all of the dirty dishes that I had in the sink. I didn't have too many today, just a few coffee cups and glasses and things like that. I really try not to let things pile up in the sink. That is one of my biggest pet peeves is having a sink full of dishes. It just gives me tons of anxiety. Let me know in the comments what is something that you cannot let go for too long because it drives you insane. This is my all-time favorite sink cleaner, and I just saw the other day when I went to order some more that they make it in a powder as well, so I may have to try that. If you have used it before, let me know what the difference is between the cleanser and the powder. Is one better than the other, or do they have different purposes? This is just the best cleaner for stainless steel things because it gets all of those water stains and lime stains and everything else like that off of your stainless steel, so it is a favorite of mine. Also totally in love with my new kitchen faucet, which I will have linked in my description box because seriously, if you love farmhouse style anything, then you would love this kitchen faucet, but it also is perfect for cleaning out my sink. It has the most amazing water pressure ever. And yes, I do like to dry out my sink after I uh, clean it out just because it definitely makes it shine and sparkle even more. This is my favorite glass cooktop cleaner that I use on my stove. It is great for getting up tough stains and messes. I actually let the stove top go a little bit more than I normally do, but I wanted to make sure that I was able to show you in this video just how well it works. So I did have quite a few tough messes that had been burnt on from a pot or two that had overflowed accidentally. And this just does such a great job of getting those messes up. The first time I ever cleaned my stove, I had to also use a razor blade and I know that they sell a couple of tools like that on Amazon that you can get but since then I haven't really had to do anything quite that serious on my stovetop just this cleanser and you will see when I am done just how shiny it is and then I always go in with a multi-surface spray just to get the knobs and the rest of the stove any place that I basically touch <laughs> rest of my stainless steel products by using the Method Steel For Real Cleaner. So that would be my microwave here and then my dishwasher. And I love this stuff. I really think that it works really well. And even on the parts of the microwave here that are not stainless steel, I don't feel like it leaves a lot of streaks or anything like that. So it is definitely a favorite product of mine. Another result 
result of the construction were little bits of dust and even some small pieces of grout that had kind of fallen out of the wall or from I don't know where onto my countertops and so right along the edge of the granite here was a little bit dusty and messy so I am just going in with my method granite cleaner and really deep cleaning most of the time when I clean my countertops I don't take everything off and scrub them down I just kind of do a general wipe down of the area that I've been using but on this particular day the whole countertop needed to be cleaned off so I took everything off my countertops and really made sure to scrub until I didn't feel any more grit or grime cleaner is another one of those method products that you can see a big difference in the before and after my granite always is pretty clean but there is a definite difference in the sparkle and shine when I use this granite cleaner than when I use just like a rag and water or a multi-surface spray same thing with that steel for real cleaner I just feel like it makes the appliances look 10 times shinier than if I were to use any other type of spray so it definitely works and has my heart Thinking of drowning in those blue eyes I'm losing sight cause I am falling I'm so deep down, deep down And it's not a lie That I die I can't hide my microfibers and towels into the washing machine I really try to rotate out my microfibers as I'm cleaning I don't use the same microfiber on multiple surfaces so I want to make sure that I get those nice and clean and then we are moving on to day two and this was the day that I was tired of looking at my cluttered cabinet so we are tackling two cabinets today and I definitely could do more cabinets in my kitchen it would be an hour-long video if I included them all in this one so let me know by hitting the like button if you would like to see more of these kinds of decluttering and organizing videos because I would be happy to make more but the two cabinets that I'm tackling today are my plastic Tupperware and cup container and then my spices cabinet and honestly I had way more cups and water bottles than I think I realized it wasn't until I got back in there and started pulling them all out and you will see in just a second I have so many cups with straws and water bottles some of these I had had since college and I just didn't need to hold on to them anymore so I got rid of like four or five of them and it made a lot more room in the cabinet that I didn't have before wipe out these cabinets the insides of the cabinets and then the tops of them as well and it is very hard for me to reach the top of the cabinet so I just briefly stood up here on the countertops to make sure that I could reach everything there wasn't really that much dust I was expecting a lot more for some reason but then I also noticed that there was a little bit of dust on the windowsill probably again from the construction so I just went ahead with this rag and tackled every piece of dust that I could see from here this is not something that I normally clean and it was definitely overdue Be
love this turntable that I have in my cabinet, but I definitely felt like it belonged on the top shelf because I was reaching things on the top shelf more than I was reaching things on the bottom shelf. So I just went ahead and switched those things out so that what I was grabbing more often was lower and much easier to grab. what this cabinet looks like now. It definitely looks a lot better. I was able to get rid of several water bottles that I did not use, and there is still a little bit of extra empty space, which is great. I still have a ton of cups though, and then everything else on the top, I don't reach super often, and that's totally fine because if I need to, then that turntable is what makes it 10 times easier. So this spice cabinet really didn't have any rhyme or reason before I initially tried to put all spices on the bottom and then baking spices and stuff on the top, but then a bunch of random things just kind of got shoved onto these different shelves. And so I wanted to make sure, first of all, that I had wiped everything out and then I decided to organize it in this way. I put all of my hot chocolate and seasonal items like that on the top shelf because I don't really ever reach for those. And then you'll see in just a minute that I reorganized the bottom shelf for all of my cooking spices, so thyme and rosemary and cumin and mustard seed and all that and then anything that is for baking I put on the middle shelf so cinnamon sticks vanilla extract lemon extract things like that there are definitely other baking spices and things that I could put in here there is tons of room still for me to add to it I didn't want to chalk this thing full of stuff but it is definitely way better than it was before any of you are wondering where this little spice rack is from, I do believe that I got this one from Walmart. I would also love to get another turntable and put it in this cabinet, but a smaller one. I think that that would be really, really nice to have maybe on that middle shelf because it's so much um, taller. But I don't know if I'm going to be able to find one that's small enough for this shelf, but I may have to get another one of those spice racks. It is perfect. I was able to put some of the shorter spices at the back and then the taller ones in the front, and it just makes it super easy to grab what I need because I can see all of the labels. Last thing I'm doing in today's video is cleaning the floors. I'm starting by using my dry Swiffer just to get the worst of the dirt up. I also have my robot vacuum that does a lot of my daily cleaning, but I think because of all the construction, I just wanted to make sure I got all of the corners really well. And it had been a couple of weeks since I had mopped, so I'm just using my Mrs. Meyers Multi-Surface Concentrate, putting just a small amount into my mop bucket, adding hot water to do the floors. I will have this mop linked in my description box below if you are interested in checking it out. It is great if you have wood or laminate floors and you don't want to get them super saturated with water. The head of this mop is made with a microfiber material, so it is perfect for that. So I will definitely be sure to link that down below if you are interested.
with me Sat beside in your car in the backseat Wide awake is the way that you left me, oh Now it's clear we are here back at your house And I keep fading into the background I'm wide awake, now you keep missing out for sure Thanks so much for watching. Today's video is a relaxing clean with me, a little cleaning and a little baking to help you unwind for the night. Today's video is also a collaboration with Amber Stoffel. She is a mom of three and also makes amazing cleaning motivation on her channel. I will have her channel linked in my description box. And if Amber sent you here, thanks for being here and I hope you'll consider subscribing. Let's go ahead and get started. I am starting off my relaxing cleaning routine by lighting a candle here from White Barn. This is a cinnamon spice vanilla candle. It smells so delicious. I'm going to be baking a little bit later in today's video. And if you're not baking, this gives you the perfect smells of baking without actually having to make anything. cleaning up all of the dinner dishes here before I get started on wiping down the countertops and making sure this kitchen is back in order. like this video please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already you can head on over to Instagram and follow me there as well at Mayor Haney I usually post daily cleaning motivation and other homemaking hacks for you guys as well I wanted to show you guys this super cute bar glass that I have. It has a bunch of different fun beverages on the side and exactly the measurements to make them. Oh, such a cute idea. I'm just going in with my Mrs. Myers multi-surface spray and a microfiber cloth to wipe down the countertops now. I'm using the Mrs. Myers spray in the mint scent, which I have never used before and I love how fresh it smells. Now doing the same thing in the bathroom, just wiping down the countertop to keep things clean. I am also using the Mrs. Myers multi-surface spray in here as well. And then I'm going to go back in with an anti-back spray, spray that over the surface. And the key to an anti-back is letting it sit for at least 10 minutes before you wipe it down. So you'll see me do that here. And if you guys want to know where I get all of my cleaning products, I always have a link in my description box to the Grove Collaborative, which is where I buy all of my products from. If you guys use my referral code, then you will get $35 worth of free products when you place your first order. Definitely a great deal you don't want to miss out.
with all this coronavirus stuff going around, I just don't want to take any chances. I feel like I've been cleaning my toilet and other surfaces that are touched on the daily basis more regularly than I ever have before. So I usually do this at least once, if not twice a week, just out of precaution. And it's really made a huge difference in keeping my house clean. clip of me washing my hands to show you guys the proper way to wash your hands please make sure you're getting in between those fingers and the most important part is actually drying your hands off you can leave a lot of bacteria by not properly drying off your hands after you wash and now we're moving on to my favorite part of the evening, which is baking. I am using this Betty Crocker cinnamon streusel muffin mix, preheating my oven to 400 degrees. And then these are all the things that you need to make this mix. It is super easy. I have my muffin mix in the blue bowl, and then I have a quarter cup of vegetable oil, three quarters of a cup of water, and two eggs. I also have a glass of wine because of course it wouldn't be baking if I didn't pour myself a little bit of wine to have while I do this as well. combining all of these ingredients into my bowl and giving them a good stir until everything is thoroughly mixed. You don't want to over mix your muffin mix too much. This next part I am using a cookie scoop to just scoop in the batter directly into my cupcake liners. Sometimes I use my silicone liners. If you guys watched my 50 Amazon purchases video then you would have seen the silicone cupcake liners. I really like to use those but mostly for eggs or things that are really really hard to get off of a cupcake tin. So here I'm just using regular old paper liners and making sure that they're at least three quarters of the way full. put the streusel on top, just sprinkled it, and now I'm popping it into the oven and baking it for about 50 minutes. And while those are baking, I'm gonna get started on some other things like running the dishwasher and making my bed.
Honestly, one of my favorite parts about making my bed in the evening is how inviting it looks and I couldn't wait to get in it, but I had to get these muffins out of the oven first and then once they were cooled, I put them on this cake stand so that they were all ready for the next morning. And know what I got, know what I want. Boy, don't get me wrong. Hey friends, thanks for watching. Today I am bringing you tons of cleaning motivation as I deep clean some areas of my home that have been pretty neglected. Also in this video, we are going to tackle cleaning out and reorganizing my closet. I had tons of clothes to get rid of and it feels so much less cluttered now. Don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoy these kinds of videos. Subscribe to my channel if you are new. I would love to have you and let's get to cleaning. I really enjoy diffusing essential oils when I first start cleaning. It just really helps to set the tone and so I am putting a couple of drops of lemon essential oil in my diffuser and a few drops of this crystal breath blend from nature's fusions into my diffuser as well this blend is amazing if you are having upper respiratory issues it's great for opening up your sinuses it has tea tree oil eucalyptus and I just think that combination with lemon is perfect and it really sets the mood for me to get started cleaning and we are going to start with the kitchen first I'm starting out by putting a few things in the dishwasher and then hand washing everything that can't go into the dishwasher and then we are going to take care of cleaning out the sink next. It had been so long since I had cleaned out my kitchen sink and if you know me, it is something that I like to do at least once a week because of how dirty it gets. You should learn that on your own I play cool Cause I hope you pick it up soon And you know just what to do Don't you Boy just be honest any of my cleaning videos before then you may not know that this barkeeper's friend is my favorite cleanser to use on stainless steel especially for a stainless steel sink it helps to get rid of all of the watermarks and lime and any kind of stains or caked on stuff that may be in your sink and I just use this and a sponge just give it a really good scrub it is the best thing that I have found for stainless steel sinks if you guys know of another product that works really well then help everybody out by leaving it in the comments because I hope you pick it up soon and you know just what to do Don't you Boy, just be honest dirty so I am using my tried and true Mrs. Myers multi-surface spray just to give the countertops a wipe down and if you missed my last cleaning video I actually tried out all of the jaws cleaners in that video and I really do love the kitchen one it works great if your stove or your countertops are greasy but I don't need to use it all the time because I think that it works for heavy duty messes and that's not really what I needed to clean today so using the Mrs. Myers multi-surface spray and just giving everything a light wipe down we see the distance grow I just need to know Do you even feel the same? I'm living in your messages I'm closer to you there I guess Living in your messages Every day now I confess has definitely been a while since I disinfected my refrigerator especially the handles and stuff we touch them so often and we don't ever think to wipe them down but I know that I need to make sure that I do that every so often just to keep all the germs away so this is something that I'm glad I remembered to do I hear you 
laughter from within You can light up any room without going in we are moving on to the laundry room and I really needed to clean up a big mess in here. When the guys were banging on the outside of the house putting the siding on, there was so much dust and dirt that fell from the ceiling or the walls. I don't even know where it all came from, but every little crevice of the house has got some layer of dust and dirt. So I'm just using the attachment with my vacuum cleaner to get all of that up. And if you guys have never seen what the floors looked like in my kitchen originally, this is the vinyl flooring that was in in the kitchen before I got all brand new floors. And I do have a plan, I think, for what I wanna do with the floor in here. I have seen a lot of people use those sticky adhesive tiles that you can get on Amazon. So I'm thinking that I might cover this up with those tiles. Let me know in the comments if you guys have any other suggestions. I just don't wanna do anything too expensive since it's a laundry room and people hardly ever come in here. Now we're gonna move on to the bathroom. I'm just gonna give the sinks a quick wipe down and I'm gonna do the toilet and I'm gonna save the tub for another day. ready to change out a few things in this bathroom for some more summery decor but of course everything where I live is still pretty much shut down most of the stores haven't opened back up yet and the only place I've really been able to shop is Target so I'm just gonna have to be a little bit more patient until I can go out and get a couple of things to freshen up this bathroom make it just a little bit more summery The reason why we chose to say goodbye But I can help my feelings Right now, I can't deny You never left my mind And now, my heart is bleeding Why did I have to break it up? Cause I was just a young girl Living in a dream world I thought that I'd be better off But now I pay the price I don't know how to forget you I can't forget you You're always on my mind I do the things that I should do And now we are moving on to the second day of cleaning. I just had so much to do the week that I was filming this that I had to break up the cleaning into two days. And you know what? That's totally real life. Sometimes we don't have time to get all of it done in one day. So on the second day, I started out by working in the living room. I needed to do the same thing that I did in the laundry room, go around with the attachment and just get a little bit of fine dust up everywhere, especially along the outside walls where they were banging and stuff on the walls. And then I am going to move on to dusting everything down as well because there was a fine layer and a fine film of dust on all of my surfaces as well. About my regrets. Why did I have to break it up? Guess I was way too shallow. My mind was way too narrow. I thought that I'd be better off. But now I'm in If you love farmhouse decor as much as I do, then you definitely don't want to miss my last video. I made this blanket ladder here in the corner as well as a noodle board for my stove top and these projects were so easy to make and I really think they add so much interest to the room. I absolutely love them.
cleaning the windowsills upstairs. I had the same problem upstairs that I did downstairs. All of the windowsills and baseboards just had a little bit of dust on them. And I really don't do this super regularly, so I love the excuse to actually wipe them down. It's something special. I thought I handled this so well. I know we had the right intentions. But somehow it came to an end. As I was vacuuming, this pile of clothes on my chair inspired me to actually do the closet clean out on this day. I just had a pile that was sitting there that needs to go to either thread up, which is what I like to use. I like to consign most of my clothes and whatever I can't consign, I will just take to Goodwill or donate somewhere. And I had so many more clothes that I added to this pile. There was probably like five or six pairs of jeans and then like eight tops. And then by the time I was done, I probably had tripled or quadrupled the amount of clothes. So the closet clean out that we're going to get to in just a little bit was definitely needed. and I'm just gonna give the carpet in here a quick clean. I had actually just vacuumed these carpets like a couple days ago. They accidentally punctured a hole in the wall when they were doing some construction and so they have had to come in and patch up the hole. So I always wanna make sure that anytime we are sanding or anything like that over this carpet that I give it a good vacuum so none of that fine dust um, like stays in the carpet. It's really, really hard to get out if you don't get it out right away. So I'm just making sure that everything is nice and clean. Start a fight, there you go I get a stable another one of those rooms where sometimes it gets a little bit neglected just because I'm not in here super super often and so I don't really wipe down every little thing but I love having a good excuse to clean all of this construction is just inspiring me to really keep everything clean and wiped down just because I want to make sure that it doesn't get too bad it is so much harder to clean things when you have let it go for so long I think spot cleaning just makes things way easier Start a fight, there you go I get unstable I get unstable diffuser in here as well and get some oils going. I am using a blend of orange and lemonade from Nature's Fusions to make a yummy citrus smell. I think citrus just smells so clean. If you want your space to smell like you just cleaned it, then always diffuse citrus oils. Making it brighter right through the gray. I am throwing in a load of clothes. I always try to do this when I'm cleaning because it is the only way I get laundry done. If I'm up and moving around the house, then I try to throw a load in while I'm doing stuff. And then we are moving on to the closet clean out. 
I know that the befores don't really do it justice. It doesn't look that bad, but if you guys could see back into the closet, like where it is really deep and how packed the clothes were, I just think I couldn't see what I had because everything was packed in there like sardines. I had clothing from when I was in high school. Guys, I'm 25 years old. I cannot believe I had stuff. Actually, some of the pieces of clothing were probably over 10 years old. I really haven't changed size all that much since high school and there were a few things that I had that were like extra smalls and I was like man I can't wear this anymore I don't know why I even have this but for the most part I'm able to wear things for so long just because I haven't changed size and I try to take good care of my clothes so I can wear them for a long time but at some point you just have to let some of it go so I was very happy to put some of this in my pile to consign and donate and then we are going to actually move on to shoes because this is another thing that I for some reason like to hoard I try to take really good care of my shoes and of course my feet aren't growing anymore so I just tend to collect shoes and then I cannot seem to get rid of the ones that either have worn out or I don't like anymore and most of the time I will wear shoes until they literally fall off of my feet so I need to be way better about just getting rid of them at the end of a season if I have worn them to death or some kind of layer of dust that was on top of this shoe rack and even some of my shoes had a layer of dust so I'm just quickly giving them a little wipe down I'm not sure where the dust came from I know that I put the closet system in here shortly after I moved in so it could be some residual dust from when we installed that but not entirely sure it was definitely a great idea to wipe these down though because then the next time I put them on they're going to be clean and ready to go as I started to put everything back into the closet, I decided at first that I was going to do it by color, like rainbow, and then I decided that that wasn't really the most efficient. I was going to put some of my dressier items towards the front and then more casual things towards the back. I'm just more inclined to grab nicer things if they are more for winter, just because if I need to dress up for church or go somewhere where I need something a little bit warmer that is dressy, I'm probably more likely to grab that than a oversized sweatshirt or something right now in the middle of summer so that is how I decided to organize the left side and then the right side is all of my t-shirts which I had actually gone through not that long ago but I'm just going through again really quickly just to see if there's anything else that I wanted to get rid of and then this middle section here I have a conglomeration of things and these shelves desperately needed to be wiped down right through the down all the shelves I decided to put my boots on the top these are my hunter rain boots and I very rarely grab them and then I have boot socks in the container next to them for like boot liners in case it's cold the next shelf has two containers of leggings that are rolled up and then the sh third shelf has my jewelry I keep all my jewelry in a couple of containers and then like slippers and miscellaneous things like that are going on the bottom couple of shelves and then where I had like a little bit of extra space I thought it would be kind of cute to style the shelves with some fun pairs of shoes so I put in a cute pair of sandals and a cute pair of heels and then I have to put some stuff on the top as well and it is so hard since I'm only 5'2 to reach the top shelf so I do have to get on a step stool to get up here but I like to keep all of my baseball caps and sun hats I also have a few items up on there that are for like dressing up for spirit days and stuff at school. I have like a green tutu and some like funny Hawaiian outfits and things like that. So that all goes on the top. And then this is what it looked like when it was totally finished. I am so happy how it turned out. It doesn't look that different. I know than it probably you saw in the befores, but when I go to look through my clothes now, I just feel like there is so much more space. They're not all packed in there super tightly. I can slide them across um, the different racks and see much easier what I have and I think that this looks so great. Thank you. Hey friends.
friends, thanks for watching. Today I am sharing with you my weekend cleaning routine and all of the things that I try to get done on a typical Saturday and Sunday. I am also trying out all of the Jaws cleaners in today's video as well to see how I enjoy using them. This video is not sponsored by Jaws, but I will be giving away their hardwood cleaner with two refills and three microfiber cloths to one of my lucky subscribers who comments on this video in the first 24 hours that it is up. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you are new. Let's go ahead and get cleaning. We are starting our weekend cleaning routine on Saturday and typically on Saturday I do way more chores around the house than I would on Sunday. So we are starting out in the kitchen. I'm going to unload and reload the dishwasher, straighten up in here and then we are going to tackle bathrooms in just a little bit. If you have been following me for a while, you may notice that there is some new decor on the wall above my bar cart. I just did that the other day, and if you follow me on Instagram, I posted a picture of it over there, and I love how it turned out. Most of that stuff is from Target, either I got this year or in years past. You said goodbye like everything's gone. I'd love to know what you guys are doing while you're watching, so let me know in the comments below. Are you cleaning along with me today or are you sitting and relaxing as you watch? Definitely let me know what you're up to down below. <laughs> Washing here is a super cool coffee grinder that I will have linked in my description box for any of you who like little kitchen gadgets. This is definitely not the easiest thing to use since you do have to grind the coffee by hand, but it is so fun and satisfying to have freshly made coffee from something that you did yourself. It actually tastes really good to have freshly ground coffee as well. It has been a great addition to my morning. <music> Also have to give a shout out to this cake stand because a lot of you guys have asked me on my Instagram before where I got it from and this was an Amazon purchase so I will link that in the description box to you guys as well. The best part about this cake stand is that I believe it can be turned into a punch bowl and a chip and dip bowl as well so it has so many different functions which I think is super cool. Now, I will soon make a move. first Jaws cleaner that I am trying is the granite cleaner and since I am doing this voiceover after I have already used the product I can for sure tell you that this granite cleaner is amazing. You guys know that I am a huge fan of the Method granite cleaner. This one smells super good and I actually think it does a better job of cleaning than the Method one. I can't even believe that I'm saying that. I also love that they sent these giant microfibers along with these products because I have so much more room to scrub away and definitely works really well on my counters. So the 
next Jaws product that I'm trying is the kitchen cleaner and this can be used on so many different surfaces so I decided to try it out on the stovetop here and again such a great product you can see it in action that the stovetop is so much shinier after I use it it works really really well to get all those hard to reach spots and I feel like it works as a great degreaser too because sometimes I get cooked on grease on this stovetop and it did a great job most of the time I do a heavy duty cleaner on my stovetop but on days when I just want to wipe it down this is going to be my go-to product I also am so impressed with how it worked on my stainless steel appliances I was expecting it to be streaky since it's not really a stainless steel cleaner but I was very pleasantly surprised back and look at how clean the kitchen was it really doesn't stay like this for very long especially on the weekends I spend so much time in here cooking and baking but I did have to stand back and just take it in you can also see the guys outside working on the construction on the outside of the house which I cannot wait to share with you guys very soon but we are moving on to the bathroom and I am going to be using in this bathroom the disinfectant cleaner from Jaws and just like any other disinfectant you do want to make sure after you spray it that you let it sit for a little while before before you come back and wipe it down and I just noticed that this entire clip is out of focus so enjoy me wiping down the countertops completely out of focus I don't really care about happy ever after something about you gives me hope something about you trying is the glass cleaner and I have to say that this product was really not any different than any other normal glass cleaner that I have tried I will have to try it on maybe my phone or on my TV or something like that try it on some different surfaces to see how it works but this product wasn't any different than any other normal glass cleaner but what I love about these bottles is that you can really control how much that you spray out of them so you don't have to have a giant spray you can just lightly squeeze the handle and and just a little bit of product comes out, which I really, really love. We are moving on to the toilet now, and I'm going back to my tried and true Clorox products for this. myself cleaning my shower but I did want to try out the shower daily cleaner and I just sprayed down the walls and then cleaned the tub off camera so you guys did not have to stare at my butt the entire time but I'm just gonna light a candle in the bathroom and then that is it and it definitely smelled so much better and looked way cleaner and love having a fresh bathroom for the weekend so that I can take lots of bubble baths and then we are moving on to something that I like to do on the weekends which is take inventory of all the things in my fridge my freezer and my pantry it it really helps me to do the next thing which is going over my meal plan seeing if I have all the ingredients that I need for the week because then that is the perfect time to go to the grocery store or make a list and have groceries delivered to the house and he knows what gets me going yeah like a little text saying hey what's up they look at me I'm in a bad situation look at him he's got a bad reputation they be looking at let me know in the comments how far in advance you like to meal plan. I usually like to meal plan at least two weeks out. And I say that because most of the time we buy our meat in bulk. And so it is way cheaper to buy a bunch at one time and then plan when we are going to eat those things. And because Jack and I have dinner together basically every night of the week, then it just makes it that much easier to get the things and eat the things that we wanna have. And so that's why I like to plan so far in advance. But let me know in the comments if you guys plan like one week at a time or a whole month at a time I feel like some things just don't last that long you can't have produce sitting in your fridge for that long so let me know what you guys do down in the comments 
Yeah, get that, you got a history. The last thing that I like to do on Saturdays is just go around and give the house a quick sweep. I know that I have a robot vacuum that does the majority of the work for me, but there are so many hard to reach places that he just can't get. So I will take the Swiffer around once or twice and just get some of those harder to reach places. And that is all that I like to do on a Saturday. I usually at this point will get ready for dinner and things like that. And then we are going to move on to Sunday next. Be good all the time. I'm wrapped around his finger, but he is mine Don't care what they say, too late anyway Why do I need to be good all the time? You guessed it, Sunday starts out with cleaning my bed sheets. I have a friend over on Instagram who always does her bed sheets every single Sunday and she motivates me to stay on top of that schedule because I said in my last video that I am not very good about remembering when I have last done my bed sheets. So I am going to commit myself to doing them on Sundays, usually probably not every Sunday, maybe every other Sunday since I don't always need to do my sheets every single week. But on this particular Sunday, I remembered to get it done. But what about it? What about it? Why do I need to be good all the time? I'm wrapped around his finger, but he is mine. Don't care what they say, too late anyway. The other thing that I love doing on Sundays is mopping my floors and I always use my Mrs. Meyers multi-surface concentrate in my mop bucket to make this happen. And my floors are so dark, they don't really show that much dirt and so I have to stay on top of mopping because if I let it go for too long, you do not wanna see what the mop water looks like. So I am going to start making it a every Sunday task. Once a week, I am going to mop my floors down, especially because lately it has been so rainy and so we are constantly tracking in muddy shoes and things like that. I know that the construction doesn't help either. There have been little bits of dust everywhere. You'll see in a little bit, I'm going to vacuum and there is just dust everywhere from them banging on the walls. So this definitely needed to happen. It's been a while since we were good. So what? We dragging now when we've been doing everything we could. All right, so I wanna see how many of you guys notice how many times I changed my hairstyle in this video, especially on this day. I guess I was just really tired or over my hair. I know that most of us have not been able to get haircuts or go to the salon, and I know I probably will not be going anytime soon, so we are just gonna have to make do with what we've got going on. watch my videos for a while you may notice that I have rearranged the living room a little bit and I am so happy to have a little bit more space here in the living room it just feels so much more open I would love to at some point get a new couch in here just so I can freshen up the space but until I can make that happen I just moved my love seat into another room that I am not using at the moment during all of this renovation and I moved this chair in here instead and I just love how much more space it gives to the room and it really didn't eliminate very much seating at all so it is definitely going to work for a good while are definitely laundry days too, not just bed sheets, but just laundry in general. And I know that I am very lucky right now while I'm home that I can do laundry pretty much any day of the week. But normally when I am working at school, I don't get to do laundry except for on the weekends. And so Sunday is definitely the day that I will play catch up on all of my laundry. So today I am just throwing in a load of jeans. Just vacuuming in the living room today. I had actually done the upstairs pretty recently, so I didn't need to do the upstairs carpets, but I will always vacuum if I'm going to mop as well. And I have been mopping and vacuuming a lot more lately, like I said, because of the construction. 
So I'm using the little attachment here on my vacuum to get some of the dirt and dust from around the fireplace. Since it is white, I just feel like it shows any little speck of dust, so I will vacuum it pretty frequently. And then I will go along the baseboards and things with this attachment as well, just to get up all of the dust. Every time they nail into the outside of my house, little bits of dust just fall from the ceiling and from the walls. I don't know where it all comes from, but I just have to stay on top of it until all of this is finished. Backseat, wide awake is the way that you left me, oh Now it's clear we are here back at your house And I keep fading into the background I'm wide awake, now you keep missing out for sure I'm going to remake my bed and I'm sure you notice all of the piles of laundry on the floor I did not get to all of them on this day honestly I am so bad with laundry which is sad because there's only one of me and I know so many of you who follow me are moms and you have way more laundry to do than I do so I don't know how you guys stay on top of it because I certainly don't So I need y'all's opinion because I know that this room and my office up here will probably be the next couple of rooms that get painted in this house. And so I want to know your opinion if you guys think that I should paint this room the same color as the downstairs or if I should paint my room a different color. My only problem with this room is that it does not get a ton of natural light because there are a lot of trees on the side of my house and I think it blocks most of the sunlight coming into the room. So I don't wanna go too dark on the color, but let me know what you guys think. I was just thinking about keeping the whole house the same color scheme and then maybe going back later and doing some stenciling or some really fun temporary wallpaper. But let me know if you guys have any paint colors that you guys love that you think that I would like as well. Won't you be mine? Won't you be The last thing I'm including in this video, I would not normally do every single Sunday, but I do always wipe down my kitchen table, but I wanted to show you guys my idea for a tablescape, especially if you are somebody who likes to host on Sundays, like a Sunday lunch or a Sunday dinner. I know it's been kind of hard and sad right now since we can't really do that, but I got some great things from Target, these hearth and hand chargers and plates from that Magnolia collection. Oh my gosh, I am so obsessed with it. I would just buy everything if I could if you guys did not watch my last video my target shop with me I said the same thing in that video as I was walking through the aisles I could have just put everything in my cart but um, most of the stuff that is going on this table is from that collection and I was just kind of playing around with how I wanted my table to look so that when I am at some point able to entertain again then I have a nice tablescape so you guys will see in just a second what the finished product looks like product looks like I definitely need to add a few more things I was thinking maybe cloth napkins would look nice I'm also not hundred percent sold on the white bowls I might want to get another bowl or plate for the tops of those blue plates but I love the centerpiece with the lemons I love the bright pop of color I just think that this looks so fun and inviting but Thanks so much for watching. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a power hour clean with me. I'm gonna show you what I get done when I set the timer for only one hour. I like to do this cleaning routine on weekdays or on weekends when I know that I've got a lot going on and I don't really have a lot of time to clean. But also I wanna show you guys some of my favorite cleaning products that I use, including a little Grove Collaborative haul in here. So you don't wanna miss that. Please hit the like button if you enjoy these kinds of videos. Subscribe if you are new to my channel and let's go ahead and get started. Okay, Google, set a timer for one hour.
just one hour, and that's starting now. Today we are starting the power hour with stripping the bed sheets. I always find that if I start a load of laundry at the beginning of the hour, then usually by the end of the hour, the sheets or whatever I'm washing is dry and I can just kind of check that off my list as having one load of laundry done. Running the dishwasher is another one of those chores that if you do it early in your routine, then usually by the time you're finished, the dishes are clean, just like with the laundry. Usually by the time you're done, the laundry has been washed and you can just throw it in the dryer to then forget about it later. <laughs> first time on my channel that you guys have seen me actually fold laundry. It is one of those tasks that I absolutely hate, but it has to be done. And I wanted to show you guys here that I actually roll my microfibers. I don't know why, but to me it is so satisfying to see them in the drawer like that. It's just one of those little idiosyncrasies that I have. But I also like to fold my hand towels and all of my towels actually, the Kanmari method. Comment below if you are a fan of the Kanmari method or not. I have found it really helpful when finding exactly what it is that I need. easiest things that you can do if you only have an hour to clean is just wipe down your everyday surfaces. It absolutely shocks me when I look at my countertops or my bathroom countertops and I just see all the little bits of dust or dirt or fingerprints. It just takes a few seconds to just grab a towel and wipe it down.
love this floral pot here. If you guys have not seen my spring decorate with me video, I will have that link below. You'll see how I transported or transplanted this plant into the pot. I think it is so stinking cute. And now I'm moving on to the bathroom. I am not doing anything crazy in here. Again, just a quick wipe down of your surface and cleaning the toilet makes a huge difference. Okay, so I thought I would show you guys my Grove haul now that all of my cleaning is done. And if you guys don't know what Grove Collaborative is, it is an online brand where you can purchase all natural cleaning products. Um, some of the brands you guys probably already have heard of like Mrs. Myers and Method and other brands like that. They even have their own line of cleaning products and different things. I love their microfiber cloths. It's a personal favorite of mine. So some of the products that I'm going to show you I have used before, some I have not, and they have a really awesome offer for you guys if you are new. And if you click on the link in my description box, it is my referral code and you will get $35 worth of free products when you place your first order, which is an amazing value such a good deal. So today I'm going to show you guys just a few of the products that I picked up. Some I have used before, some I have not. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to show you guys is, um, in this box here, and I have a few of these and I absolutely love them. It is a glass bottle with a silicone sleeve. And these are great for, um, a number of things. So First of all, if you buy their cleaning concentrates, you just pour it into the bottle and you add water and you can use, um, you can use it for a variety of cleaners, floor cleaners, all purpose cleaners, um, antibacterial cleaners, tub and tile cleaners. They have a bunch and the concentrates are so much more eco-friendly because they come in a little plastic tubing. You just pour it in and then you reuse the bottle by adding water to those concentrates. So I love these. I think they're amazing and most of their concentrates are made with essential oils, which I also love. Okay, so in this order, I actually have one of their concentrates so I can show you. This is the tub and tile cleaner, and this one has rosemary and orange, and so this is what I'm talking about. You just untwist it, pour it into the glass bottle, add water, and you have a really easy and much more eco-friendly um, cleaner than buying a plastic bottle at the store. 
Um, the next thing that I got to try were their um, dishwashing packs. So I have actually never used these before. This is the Grove Collaborative brand. Um, there are 20 packs in here for your dishwasher and they are free and clear of all dyes. They have no harsh chemicals or colorants or anything like that. Um, and then they claim to not leave like a residue or anything on your dishes. So again, I haven't tried these, but I'm really excited to give these a try and see how well they work. So the next thing that I got that I've never tried before is the Method Anti-Back Toilet um, Cleaner. I have just always used like the Lysol brand or Clorox brand or something a little bit more heavy duty, um, but this is claiming to be a disinfectant, it's claiming to be an antibacterial, um, but it is, you know, a lot better for you because of the materials or the ingredients that are in it. So I'm kind of excited to try this. Um, to see and it's in this experiment scent if you're like somebody that hates like household cleaning scents i love the method cleaners all of them have amazing scents they don't smell super chemically so um this one is in spearmint the next thing that i'm trying out is also from the grove collaborative brand and these are their drawstring trash bags um these are made from 100 percent recycled plastic so there's only 20 in here which Honestly, I would say I don't go through trash bags, especially big trash bags very often. So these should last for a while, but I'm really excited to see um, if these hold up, like if they're just as strong as some other, like more name brand trash bags. So we'll see how these pan out. If you guys have been following me for a while, then you've probably seen the Iowa Pine scent from Mrs. Myers um, in my house already. This is the dish soap. And then I also have the multi-surface cleaner. I love this scent. It is so delicious. It is not just a Christmas scent. I love it all year round. I have personally used these before. I know they're great and awesome. Mrs. Myers is 100% a recommendation from me. So um, the next thing I'm going to show you came in, all of this stuff came in a caddy right here. You can see it's like a matte gray caddy and it has like a nice little handle. So I already have one of these and these are perfect for if you keep your cleaning supplies in this, then you can just carry it around with you from room to room, which is amazing. You can keep one upstairs, keep one downstairs if you have multiple rooms to clean and stuff like that. So there is a bar of soap in here. This is a cedar and sage bar soap. And I have not tried their bar soap, but again, this would even be a great gift. Um, this is made with coconut and olive oil, so it's all natural. I'm sure it smells, I can smell it through the box. It smells delicious, so. Can't wait to give that a try. Um, the next thing I'm gonna show you are cotton swabs, and these are really cool. They're made with they're made with organic cotton, um, and they're hypoallergenic. So you know, just an alternative for you know, a nice cotton swab. Very pretty packaging too. Y'all, I swear by these. These are the Grove Collaborative Walnut Scrubber Sponges. I love these. I use them all over my house. They are amazing. And then the last few things are just, again, some more dish soap and some hand soap. The hand soap is in the rainwater scent, which I don't know if you guys have ever smelled this scent before, but OMG. It smells so fresh. I feel like that's the only way to describe it. It's like that clean laundry, like fresh smell. Oh, it is so yummy. So I got two of those hand soaps to stock up. And that is Yeah, he said my body in motion. He just, he knows how to turn things up And he knows what gets me going Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. Today's video is going to be an all day extreme clean with me. There is so much that needs to be done in this house. Bedrooms, bathroom, laundry room, everything, you name it, it probably needs to be clean. So please don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoy these kinds of videos. Subscribe to my channel if you're new and let's go ahead and get cleaning. We are starting today's cleaning video by making a cup of coffee, or rather, I think I made three cups of coffee here. I just feel like I am so much more motivated when I have had a cup of coffee first thing in the morning, and this is truly an all-day clean with me. I started at about 8.30, 9 o'clock in the morning, and it did not end until around 4 o'clock right before we made dinner, so this is definitely going to be a ton of cleaning motivation for you. This is my favorite coffee creamer. It is the Coffee Mate Natural Bliss Coffee Creamer. It is made with real 
whole cream and I just use a milk frother to froth it up a little bit and it makes the perfect at home latte. If you guys don't have a milk frother, you really should consider getting one. It just really amps up your coffee. They be looking at us, thinking we are too much. Look at me, I'm in a bad situation. Look at him, he's got a bad reputation. They be looking at us. Mm -hmm. I'm starting out by wiping off my kitchen table with the Method Wood for Good Cleaner and then I'm going to stack the chairs on top of my table. If you guys have not watched one of my cleaning videos before, I do have a robot vacuum and I find that he does so much better cleaning when I have put the chairs on top of the table and I'm giving the chairs a good wipe down too because I feel like I neglect those sometimes and they have like crumbs and dust on them. But I do want to mention, because I want to know how many of you guys do this too, my robot vacuum has a name. We are big Dallas Cowboy fans. I grew up in Texas and so I named my robot vacuum Tony Robo, like Tony Romo. So I want to know how many of you have a robot vacuum and if you do do you name your robot vacuum yeah he's got a bad history but i want him anyway so look at me i'm in a bad situation look at him he's got a bad reputation but what about it I'm just throwing a few of the household rugs in the washing machine just to give them a quick clean and I wanted to show you guys this product that I love using. It is the Clorox 2. It is a stain remover for colors. Works really well on high traffic things or clothes that have a lot of stains but are colored. And then I'm going to let my robot vacuum do some work in this laundry room because it is a mud room. We constantly walk in and out of it and there was a ton of dirt on the ground. And then I'm going to strip my bed sheets because I had done some self tanning a few days ago and anytime I use self tanner and then sleep in my bed, I always get some residue from my self tanner on the sheets and I wanna make sure I wash it off as soon as possible. sure that I also threw the mattress pad in the washing machine. I don't wash this every single time I do my bed sheets, but because I use self tanner, I wanted to make sure that nothing got on this as well. And then we're moving on to taking care of my plants. It had been a little while since I pruned them and gave them a little bit of water. So I made sure to do that today. Like a song, like a perfect melody. Baby, don't to pick up the kitchen a little bit, load the dishwasher, and just kind of tidy up things here around the sink. And then we are heading into the bathroom to do some serious decluttering and cleaning and organizing. <laughs> This caddy here in my bathroom I always have on the back of the toilet with just a few of the products that I like to grab on a daily basis. At this point it had just gotten full of way too much stuff. I don't even use half of this stuff on a daily basis so it really needed to be cleaned out. But I also can't remember the last time I washed this thing or wiped it out so we are going to make sure that that is fully disinfected before I put everything back in. There's nothing missing now that you're my desire. Now all I have to do is to make it mine. Like a song, like a perfect melody. Baby, don't say you don't believe in me. Cause you know, and I know, we're on to something good. You know, and I know. As I am loading this caddy, I'm wondering if you guys would be interested in a video on some of my favorite beauty products or things that I like to use on an everyday basis. I did include a few of them in my last video, which is my night routine. So if you guys would like a video on beauty products or something like that, let me know in the comments and I'd be happy to make one. And at this point in the video, I am unloading some of the groceries Jack had just brought from the grocery store. I immediately throw away the plastic bags just because you cannot be too careful. And then I wipe all these things down before I put them into the fridge. But as soon as I opened the refrigerator and the freezer to put some of this stuff away, I noticed that the refrigerator was pretty gross, kind of messy. And so I decided that I was going to tackle that. So we are going to do that in this video. Hopefully this gives you some motivation to clean out your fridge too, because mine was a mess.
It felt so good to get all of those things out of the fridge so I had a blank slate to work with. And I'm using the Method anti back Spray here just to wipe everything down. After you spray an anti back Spray, you definitely wanna make sure that you let it sit for at least 10 minutes to fully disinfect whatever surface you've sprayed it on before you go and wipe it down. So that's what I'm doing here as I empty these really gross containers that had all of my condiments, letting that anti back Spray sit for a little while before I go ahead and wipe these shelves down. Let me be real here When I see you my heart starts racing But I don't know if I like this chasing And playing and waiting around It's a shame that my hands start shaking All of the time when you're around me But this time, this time actually had to pull out the drawers to make sure that I got everything clean, especially on the bottom of the fridge. And then I'm moving on to the condiment containers, making sure that those are all cleaned out. Those were so gross. And then I'm just going to start putting everything back in, in some kind of orderly fashion, just so we know where everything is. You don't have to. There's so much that I'm still keeping to myself. Cause you don't listen, babe. But still you got me missing you. When I see you, my heart starts racing. But I don't know if I like this chasing and playing and waiting around. I have this new goal while we are in this season of quarantine to really try and not waste any food. For a while there, I was not doing a great job of eating everything in the fridge. There would be like a tiny little bit of something left and it would just end up going in the trash. And so myself and Jack have made a commitment to really try and make sure that we finish absolutely everything in the fridge and that we don't overbuy things so that we are not wasting. Let me know in the comments what strategies you have to make sure that doesn't happen. I don't know if it's harder for us because most of the time it is just either myself or the two of us that are eating. We're not cooking for a whole family, but if you have some suggestions to help make less waste, then definitely let me know in the comments. turning over the laundry and then we are going to head back into the bathroom to do a little bit more decluttering underneath my bathroom sink. That is another spot in the house that has been neglected for a very long time. You tell yourself you need to move on, but when not in the shadows can ease your broken heart. using the Mrs. Myers multi-surface spray here to wipe down the inside of the cabinet. And then I am going to stick things back in after purging a few items. I don't have a ton of space underneath this bathroom sink because it's the only bathroom right now that I am really using in the house until I can finish these renovations. And so this is the best that I could come up with. Not too bad, everything is at least in its own spot and I know where everything is. I'm going to finish cleaning the rest of the bathroom and I wanted to note that I never filmed myself cleaning my bathtub and I don't want you guys to think that I never clean my bathtub. I just usually tend to clean it right before I'm about to get in the bathtub and take a bath and that's just not a time that I'm normally filming so I never really film it but if you guys want me to film cleaning my bathtub or my shower then just let me know in the comments. And then you are spending the night.
I love these little trays here that I use on my kitchen sink and my bathroom sink. Both of these are from The Grove Collaborative and this one with the flowers on it is part of their spring collection. If you guys are interested in trying out Grove Collaborative, just know that my referral code is always in my description box. the Barkeeper Soft Cleanser here to clean out my stainless steel sink and then we are going to head back in the bathroom to finish up cleaning in there. I've been holding on, I wouldn't let you go Cause every time I try you find a loophole I've been slamming the door and just leave you ready to decorate for summer yet in the bathroom or really anywhere in my house. I just haven't been able to get any new pieces and I don't really have a ton of summer decor as it is so I'm leaving a few of the spring things in here for now. And same thing here in my living room. I don't really have anything to put for summer here and I could really use some ideas. So if you guys have ideas for how to decorate this console table or should I get rid of the table and do something else in this area, let me know in the comments what you think I should do because right now I'm in a weird in between and I'm really unsure. up a few things in the living room. This room wasn't really too bad. I'm just folding up some of the blankets and putting away some of the remote controls and things like that. But then we are going to head upstairs next and put away some of those Easter and spring decorations that I really just kind of want to get out of the way. I don't mind leaving some spring things up, but a lot of the bunnies and Easter eggs and things like that I wanted to take down so that that way I could kind of have a fresh clean slate to start thinking about how I want to start decorating for summer. Again, if you have any ideas for how I could decorate my space for summer, colors that you think would look good, different styles, then definitely let me know your suggestions and definitely include links in the comments.
walk-in closet in my office is where I keep all of my home decor. I have different bins for different seasons, and usually when I pack things up, I wrap them in bubble wrap or tissue paper or newspaper or whatever I have on hand. I have a ton of tissue paper and things like that from gifts, so I'm just using that to wrap up some of my items. space in here to get my camera but I made it work and yes I also do use this closet to store some of my clothes as well so I'm just sticking all those things that I wrapped up really tightly into this container which thankfully is partially empty which means there is always room to add things to it later Here is a quick overview of kind of how I have this room organized currently. I have this shelf here on the left side that holds all of those storage bins. And then I have a little bit of room on the right side to stack a few more as well. I also should note that I do have an attic, but I don't love to store things in the attic since it's not temperature controlled, but I will use that if I have to at some point. And now I'm moving on to straightening up the rest of my office. This is where I am currently doing my voiceover. I do all of my work here at my desk. I have a filing cabinet and all their kinds of storage systems here that really needed to be wiped down. I don't even know the last time I wiped surfaces down in here, so this was a must. that my desk ends up being like a dumping ground for all of the things that I just don't want to deal with at the time. So it definitely pays to take a few minutes just to go through and make sure that you've thrown away stuff that you don't need or put things in their correct spot because this room looked infinitely better once I had actually taken the time to do that. I really should do it more often. You out of your comfort zone Cause I need more of the truth right now It's time that you made your mind up Cause lately all it ever does is change Feels like we're only talking, talking Going round and around, back around I will fight like no other Are listening and cleaning along with me I am moving on to vacuuming I think that this room also had not been vacuumed in a really long time I just have been doing so much work in here that I don't even really think about vacuuming the space but I love a good satisfying carpet line All my sheets are freshly clean. I'm going to remake my bed and then we are going to move on to giving this room a good vacuum too. I 
for me to vacuum these little rugs in my house is just to stick them on top of some other carpet that I have in the house and then vacuum over them. I find that vacuuming small rugs like this on top of hard floor is really challenging and this vacuum actually scratches my hard floor so I can't really use it on it, which thankfully I have the robot vacuum for. The next thing that I'm doing is mopping my floors using this Mrs. Meyers multi-surface concentrate in the honeysuckle scent. I just added it to the bucket with some hot water and then I'm going to mop the floors. I will have this mop linked in the description box because it is honestly the best mop I have ever used. The handle of the mop is collapsible so it's really easy to store and it's the perfect mop if you don't want to get your floors too wet because the mop head is actually microfiber. So if you have hardwood floors or laminate floors and you don't want to use a steam mop, then then this is a great alternative. Tonight, riding on the dizzying heights. Sunsets, remember the colors, they were wrong, it was way more than a dream. We climbed up, get yeah, over the hillside, it's alright, we stood there all wide eyed, you and I floating on air in my mind. Cause there's no going back, no going back, there's no going back to your own life. I'm feeling it tonight, riding on the dizzying high. Hey friends, thanks so much for watching. Welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Today I am bringing you tons of cleaning motivation. My house was a true mess. I have been doing a couple of upstairs renovations, so there will be no upstairs cleaning today, but lots of downstairs cleaning motivation for you. So definitely make sure you hit the like button if you enjoy this video. And if you are not already subscribed to my channel, make sure you subscribe before you go. Let's go ahead and get cleaning. We are starting today's cleaning video in the kitchen as usual because this is the room in the house that is always the most messy. I usually try to keep it clean, especially right before I go to bed. I really like to have a clean kitchen when I wake up in the morning, but for the most part, I usually have a dishwasher to unload or things to put away. And this was right around the time that we had a hurricane here in Virginia. Well, it came through like a tropical storm, but Jack and I had gotten a bunch of snacks and things like that just in case. So there was tons of stuff all over the counter so definitely needed to take care of this stuff and put it away.
let me know what you guys are doing while you're watching today. I hope that you are cleaning along with me and tackling all of the things on your to-do list. I'm just going to clean a few of these things here in the sink by hand and I was getting pretty low on dish soap this day and I have one more dish soap that I just opened up and that is my last one. So I am getting very excited to start shopping on the Grove Collaborative for my new fall scents. The Mrs. Myers fall scents just came out and I wanna know what you guys think. Which one is your favorite? I think they have the mum, the pumpkin spice. There's like an acorn one. There may be a couple others. I know that I haven't tried them all but if you have a favorite fall scent, then let me know in the comments which one is your favorite. I'm gonna dry off these couple of dishes here that I washed by hand and then we are going to get to cleaning out my sink because when the light shines in my window like this, I find it the best opportunity to clean the sink because you can see every little bit of dirt that is in it. Drunk, I've never seen you clearer than now. We're flying high, floating somewhere up in the clouds. Going out of ourselves, can you feel it? Almost like I don't know if it's real Cause when we're doing our thing, we're the wheels that won't stop turning So take me on a trip, 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 nah Trip, 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 oh Flick the switch, kill the lights Oh, wasted City lights are shining so bright All these empty faces We don't care about them tonight usually like to dry my sink out when I'm done cleaning it just to make sure that I get every bit of residue and then I also like to wipe down the faucet because I don't do this very regularly and because my faucet is black it shows a lot of lime and water stains but also if I've touched the handle with food on my hands or something it always shows tons of dirt. My kitchen window is one of my favorite windows in the house because I just love being able to look outside while I'm doing dishes and stuff, but I definitely cannot reach the top part of the window, so I did have to get Jack to help me reach the top part. And as we were cleaning the window, we noticed that the majority of the dirt was on the outside, so I am probably going to suggest that we tackle cleaning the outsides of the windows pretty soon. If you guys know any good tools or products for cleaning the outside of your windows, then definitely leave those in the comments so that I can do a video on that and share with you guys all of your recommendations. Cleaning my stove like this is definitely not something that I do every single day, but I do like to do it if I have cooked something that has spilled over and there are stains and stuff on it, but I do always wipe my stove down every night, at least the knobs and the buttons and stuff, because I feel like, especially with a white stove like this, it shows every little fingerprint. So I'm just going in with my Jaws kitchen cleaner and making sure that I clean all those up so they are nice and shiny. You gotta understand Another culprit for fingerprints is all of my stainless steel appliances, so I'm going in with my stainless steel cleaner just to shine these up.
I don't normally clean my kitchen counters this thoroughly, but on this particular day, they definitely needed it. And these plants here that I have in these mason jars, I had propagated from another plant in my house and they were just about ready to plant. And since I recorded this video, I have planted them. So I'll definitely have to make sure that I share how I did that in one of my next videos. I don't think that I had cleaned off this cake stand or my diffuser in a really long time either. I just sometimes forget about it, but I love this cake stand and diffuser and the way that it looks. I have seen so many different ways to style diffusers, and if there is a certain way that you style yours in your home, then definitely let me know how you do it in the comments because I'm always looking to change things up. putting a blend in my diffuser of lemon and eucalyptus and then we are going to finish this kitchen so we can move on to the bathrooms. Just putting a few of my towels and microfibers in the washing machine because I knew this was a load that I wanted to do and I wasn't quite sure if I had enough and I didn't. So I know that I needed to go around and collect any rugs, towels, and things like that that I wanted to throw in the wash. And while I was in the bathroom, I went ahead and tackled the sinks and then the toilet. I'm just using the Jaws shower cleaner to wipe and disinfect everything. So I had noticed that my faucet here was spraying water kind of weirdly so I figured that a couple of the little holes were clogged so I'm just using a little combination of baking soda and vinegar to kind of unclog it. It worked a little bit but not as well as I thought it would so either I'm going to have to do it again or I'm going to have to use some kind of other tool to scrub it since it's just kind of spraying everywhere and makes a big old mess but now we're going to move on to disinfecting the toilet. I'm losing sight cause I am falling I'm so deep down, deep down And it's not a lie that I die I can't hide Put out all of the fire If it gets too dark oh, oh, I'll be alive. 
so I was just thinking the other day that I had not made a video yet on my daily cleaning routine so let me know by giving this video a thumbs up and letting me know in the comments if that is something that you would like to see I feel like I just usually film my weekly cleaning routine more so than my daily cleaning routine so I feel like that's something that I really like to watch so I think it might be something you guys would be interested in as well so let me know if that is something that you would like to see from me can carry all that you've got to every heart is not a lot I will put out a lot I'm going to finally throw in that load of towels and things as soon as I wipe down my washer and dryer I usually have to do this once a week this is my mud room and it's where I do my laundry so shoes get put in here and other things like that so it's definitely a place I have to keep pretty clean also, my dryer was full of lint. I guess it had been a little bit since I had emptied that, which honestly I'm so bad about. And I know it's terrible because your house could literally catch on fire if you don't empty your lint trap, but I'm working on it. We all have things that we forget about. Speaking of lint, there's usually lint on the floor in here as well as dirt and things from shoes being stored in this room. So I'm just going to give it a quick vacuum. I will come back and mop this space later when I get my mop out, but I'm just going to kind of go around the house and spot check a few places that I need to use the vacuum cleaner. I don't always use the vacuum cleaner downstairs very often since I have a robot vacuum that takes care of the majority of things for me. But if you guys didn't know, this mudroom is actually a step up from my kitchen. So this is not a place that my robot vacuum can go unless I put him in here specifically. So a lot of times I will either just put him in here and shut the door and let him do all the work. But today I decided to get in here myself and get all of the nooks and crannies. now going to vacuum in the living room and I usually do these small rugs first because one goes in front of my back door and one goes in front of the front door so I'm just going to clean these really quick and then put them back and then we are going to vacuum the rug in here I'm also going to tackle the perimeter because the robot vacuum has a really hard time getting up onto this carpet so most of the area surrounding the carpet does not get touched by him either is a great time for me to say thank you guys so much if you are still watching this video let me know if you are still watching by leaving an apple in the comments since school is starting again soon and I am going to be going back to my regular nine to five as a teacher I'm actually kind of looking forward to it even though this year our school is going to be doing virtual learning so it is a big learning curve for me for sure but let me know by leaving that apple emoji down below if you are still here with me One of the last things that I really like doing in my cleaning is mopping the floors. I always feel like I clean from top to bottom, so floors are always the last thing that I do. But I know that I have said it before, but I have to say it again because I genuinely love this mop so much. I don't know if it's just really great for the type of floors that I have or if it's just really easy for me to use, but it does 
both a really great job of making sure that my floors are really clean, but I also feel like it's so simple to use. All I put in here is some warm water and my Mrs. Myers concentrate. I have been trying a bunch of different scents. I think this one was the lemon verbena. I have also tried the honeysuckle and some other ones, and it just makes my home smell super fresh and clean, and I love that it is mostly non-toxic. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel and hi if you are new. My name is Meredith and today I am so excited to share with you my very first outdoor clean with me video. I got so much done in this video, did a really fun project to spruce up my mailbox and planted a bunch of flowers. And I am also so excited because this video is a collaboration with my friend Melanie here on YouTube. You guys are going to love her channel. Her content is very similar to mine. She makes lots of cleaning and homemaking motivation. She has the sweetest little boy ever and I know that you guys are going to love her videos so make sure you guys go over and check out her channel after you're done watching my video and show it some love be sure to subscribe to her channel and definitely let her know that I sent you and if you are coming over from Melanie's channel welcome I am so happy to have you and let's go ahead and jump right in so the first project that I'm sharing in this video is how I spruced up my mailbox. It was so dingy and gross and it really just didn't look very cute. The bed around the mailbox had been kind of destroyed over the years. There was nothing really growing in there anymore. So I decided to take matters into my own hands and give it a really good scrub. I decided that this would be way cheaper than replacing the entire thing. I didn't want to um, have to spend the money on getting a new post and a new mailbox and all that stuff. So I figured I could just repurpose what I already had. So in the bucket you just saw, I was putting a little bit of a solution called TSP. You can get it at your local hardware store, but it works really, really well for cleaning off wood and brick surfaces. It says that you can also use it in a power washer as well, but it's a heavy duty cleanser. and you you can see some of this green algae or I don't even know what it is growing on the post but just a little bit of scrubbing with that and some hot water and it came right off I also used a solution on the inside of my house to clean up my bricks before I painted my fireplace it just works really well to get rid of stains and grime and you do want to make sure that if you are using it you are wearing gloves you don't want to get it on your skin I probably should have been wearing goggles too or something like that it didn't really spray that bad but you just want to make sure that you are being really protected since it is a chemical. You will see as I go throughout this project that I was able to repurpose a lot of the things that I already had on the mailbox just to make it look a little bit better. So at the end of this project, I will let you know how much I spent in total. I definitely think that I saved money by doing it this way instead of just replacing everything. And I think that sometimes that's the best way to do things on a budget. had these vinyl stickers on it that had the house numbers so I just had Jack use a little bit of lemon essential oil and some dish soap to clean those off and then he just lightly sanded down the mailbox just so that it was ready for paint this mailbox was in pretty good shape it didn't have any dents or anything it just needed a new coat of paint so I got a can of rust-oleum spray paint in black and um, if you're going to spray paint your mailbox then you probably want to get a high gloss or a glossy finish most mailboxes have that kind of finish and it really only needed about two coats. I had to let 
let the mailbox dry as well as the post after I gave it a scrub. And so this is the second day and you can already see how much better that mailbox post looks. It doesn't have any of that green gunk on it anymore. And we started out this second day by taking a lot of those stones from around the mulch bed or I guess what used to be a mulch bed. It had been super neglected and so several of those stones were actually buried underneath the dirt. My yard is so sloped that it washes and so a lot of the stones were buried and I had to actually dig them out. So I decided instead of getting all new stones which would have been very expensive, these were like a little bit over a dollar a piece, I decided to repurpose and use most of the stones that I already had and get just a few new ones to spread around to make it look fresh without spending a ton of money. So I wanted to clean up the stones that were super dirty. Some of these were ridiculously caked in mud. So in this bucket, I am using the same TSP solution and some warm water. Again, I'm wearing gloves to make sure that I don't get any of it on my skin. And my gloves actually have those little silicone scrubbies on them so I can kind of scrub it while it's in the bucket. This water got so dirty so fast, but it really, really worked to clean these up and make them shiny. I get unstable I get unstable I push you back it was also super sunny and warm on this day. I feel like it may have taken a little bit longer if it hadn't been so sunny. I had to flip the rocks over to make sure that they were dry on both sides. I didn't want to stick them back into the dirt wet and create more mud that kind of would have defeated the purpose of cleaning them but then we were trying to kind of figure out how many stones we needed around the whole thing and how we were going to spread the new ones out we wanted to make sure that we had enough so that it was somewhat symmetrical and then after we did that then we were ready to spray paint the post to give it some time to dry and so I went with a white color if you guys know me I'm pretty much obsessed with anything white I also figured that this would match the house really well I am very excited to be sure sharing with you my home renovation video for the outside of the house very soon. You do get a few sneak peeks in this video, so if you can see my house in the background, then get very excited for that video as well. But I went ahead and spray painted this white, and I went with a matte color for this. This is just regular white Rust-Oleum spray paint. And for some reason, I thought we were gonna need two cans, but we ended up only needing one, so this was very inexpensive to do. You're no good for me with so bitter sweet but i still want you i do baby can't you see what you do to me i just can't resist you you got me drunk in love drunk in love i can't see i need to sober up sober up from this dream but i can't deny nah, nah, nah. i can't deny nah, 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 i can't deny nah, nah, nah. i can't deny nah, nah, nah. Once I was finished spray painting and everything was dry, I went ahead and just cleaned up the curb here a little bit. Even something like this where I'm just sweeping and getting some dirt out of the way makes a huge difference for your curb appeal. It took very little time and looks so much better. We are attaching the base for the mailbox. All of these mailboxes, um, if, when you buy them or if you repurpose them, usually have some kind of base that the mailbox sits on. So we're just re-screwing that back into the post. And then we're gonna move on to my favorite part, which is planting the flowers. You're no good for me with so bittersweet, but I still want you, I do. Baby, can't you see? We had already removed quite a bit of dirt and most of it had already been turned over at least once, but I think it is really good to turn your dirt over a couple of times before you plant just to make sure that you have everything aerated really well and then you can get ready to start digging your holes. So I got several different types of flowers from the hardware store and I am putting seven on each side. So I'm just gonna dig one hole at a time. I did three in the front and then four in the back. And 
I don't actually think now that everything is finished, I don't think I'm actually done yet. I really kind of want to put a couple of other flowers or plants or something in the back there behind where the actual mailbox is, like where the post is. I'm thinking something taller for a little bit of height might look really nice. These are annuals, so they will die after this year, but I just didn't want to commit to anything, especially because um, if you're into gardening, then you know that most bulbs don't plant in the summertime. You plant them like in the fall or in the winter and then they come up in the spring. So I wasn't ready to commit to anything too serious. So these will just last for the summer and then in the fall, maybe I'll reconsider what I'm gonna plant here, but this was definitely a good start. Love, love, I can't sleep. I need to sober up, sober up from this dream, but I can't deny, deny, I can't deny, deny, you. I can't deny, deny, I can't deny, deny, you. In case you guys are wondering what types of flowers these are, I got purple petunias and then the other two kinds of flowers are um, impatience. Some of them are pink and then some of them are purple. So I kind of tried to space them out so that I had um, like a mirror image on each side of the mailbox. They look at me, I'm in a bad situation. Look at him, he's got a bad reputation. They be looking at us, thinking we are too much. Look at me, I'm in a bad situation Look at him, he's got a bad reputation They be looking at us mm. What? These kinds of flowers that I picked out work really well for partial sun, but they can also tolerate the heat and the sun if it is in full sun. The front of my house here gets really bright sun like this in the evening. This was about like five o'clock. Usually in the evening, it gets really sunny here in the front, but in the morning, it's pretty shady. So you definitely wanna make sure that if you're getting flowers for a certain spot in your house, that you pay attention to the sunlight just so that you are getting flowers that match the type of sun and water that it needs. History, but I don't want to think about no other than us. Now we are just reattaching the mailbox. It only took a few screws to attach it to the bracket that we had already put on there, and then after that. I was debating whether or not I wanted to put those vinyl numbers back on the side of the mailbox. I just didn't think that that would look as good as putting on actual house numbers on the mailbox post. So that is what I ended up doing. And I'm only gonna show you guys installing one of them because I don't wanna put my whole house number on the internet. But these were super easy to install. They came with two small screws and they look 10 times better than those peel and stick vinyl numbers. I just really love the way that this looks. And then we were ready to start putting the stones into the ground so we dug like a small little trench kind of around the outside just so the first layer of stones would fit really securely especially right up here in the front along the curb line and this was the way that I saved the most money I think in this project is um, each one like I said earlier each one of these stones was a little over a dollar so all of these stones here on the bottom layer were ones that already existed um, like when I bought the house, they were already there. So I just cleaned them up and repurposed them and you can see they look a lot better even just being cleaned up. So all the ones on the bottom layer were the old ones and I just took the rocks all the way around the entire bed. And this corner here where I'm digging is actually where there were no rocks before they were so buried in the dirt. And then on the front or on the top layer, I did a pattern. I did one of the older rocks and then two new rocks in a pattern. And then that way it just kind of made it look a little bit newer and a little fresher, but I did not have to buy that many brand new stones. So I did this entire thing for somewhere around $15. <laughs> part of this entire thing was making sure that the pattern matched up all the way around. So when I started to get back around to the front where I started, I noticed that the pattern was going to be just a little bit off. So I had to adjust just a little bit to make sure that everything fit perfectly. It took a little bit of finagling as you can see, but we eventually got it figured out and it looks so much better. Thanks. 
spreading the mulch was actually my favorite part of this entire thing. It just took the project to the next level. I opted for a really dark colored mulch. I actually think this was called black mulch. I think it just really pops against the white post and then it matches the black mailbox really well. And we just got like a small bag. I think this was one cubic feet and it filled this entire area really nicely. And then I'm just making sure that I spread it around all of the flowers nice and evenly. I don't wanna bury the flowers too, so I'm just trying to be really gentle. And I think that this looks so much better when it was done. guys this is what the project looked like when it was totally finished and I am obsessed with how it looks I wish I could show you all the side with the numbers it just looks amazing but let's talk about how much this project cost it was pretty inexpensive I only bought two cans of spray paint and those were about three dollars a piece so I was able to repurpose the entire mailbox I saved a lot of money on flowers because you'll see in just a minute I use half of the flowers in pots and then the other half here in the mulch bed the mulch was somewhere around ten dollars for that small bag and then fifteen dollars for the new rocks because I was able to reuse so many of the old ones. All in all, this project came in at under $50 and it brings the curb appeal to a whole other level. Now we're moving on to the potted plants that I'm gonna put in the front of the house. These two giant pots here are amazing and they were actually left by the previous homeowner. So I got pretty lucky there. I didn't have to buy the pots, but they had a ton of soil in them that had probably been sitting in there for a very long time. This type of soil is really, really good. You never really wanna throw out all of your soil. This was too much soil for repotting some plants. So I just took a little bit out of each one, but you can see just by the color that there is so much nutrients and stuff in the soil. So you definitely wanna to try to reuse potting soil when you can and in the blue pot I decided to put in a larger arrangement I could have done a bunch of small ones but I found this one and it was perfect size I believe these flowers are called begonias I think that's how you say it but you can see that there are there's actually three colors there there's like a fuchsia a coral and then the purple ones actually hadn't started blooming at this at this point once I repotted this thing it perked right up I put a little mir miracle grow on it I think the next day and it just looks so beautiful now I'm obsessed with all of the colors and I was able to reuse a lot of this potting soil here and then I decided with the remainder of the smaller flowers that I had from the mailbox project I was going to put them in a smaller pot so this small blue pot I already had as well so I saved a little bit of money by reusing pots if you take care of your pots you should be able to repurpose them so I just added a little bit of new potting soil with some of the old composted soil and then and in this small pot, I put one of the petunias, one of the pink impatiens, and one of the purple impatiens. And then the rest of them I use down by the mailbox. So this is a great way to kind of spread out your plants and get the most bang for your buck. on the stairs where I wanted them to go I just needed to give them a quick sweep and these steps get so dirty all the time you can probably tell by the shadows in this clip that I have a lot of trees in my yard especially in my front yard and so a lot of times little droppings from the trees will fall on the steps or branches and things like that so I feel like I'm constantly out here sweeping I also decided to get rid of this mat it had gotten like really moldy I'd had it for so long and I just need to be better about changing those outdoor mats more often especially when it rains 
they just stay full of water and then get really mildewy. So it was definitely time to replace that. And then it felt so much better to get those steps cleaned off. They were really dusty. I honestly have no idea what this plant is here that is completely dead. When I bought the house, it was dead like this. The other side has hydrangeas. So I'm almost wondering if this was a hydrangea plant that just at some point died. And so I just took it right out. There was no need to keep it in there any longer. I have lived in this house for almost a year now and there is so much stuff that I just really want to take care of that I have dealt with for so long. So it felt really good to take that out. And then I was trying to figure out how I wanted these pots, where I wanted them to go on the stairs. Took a little bit of finessing, but we finally got it figured out. And that is gonna be it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and make sure you subscribe, especially if you are new. Don't forget to check out Melanie's video and show it some love. And I will see you guys again very soon in a brand new video. Bye guys. Get too drunk and too scared and lie to you If only you knew I would die for you One of us, one of us gotta save the eye